SNA US 6K Installation Instructions The SNA US 6K now can reuse the generator port for smart load and AC coupling. We suggest you take a moment to read the user manual before the installation. The SNA US 6K model integrates the battery, load, grid, and gen circuit breaker switch inside the inverter, without the need to install additional circuit breakers. But it still needs to install a double interlock switch, or dual power switch, between load and grid source, inverter, and AC output load. The switch's input current should greater than 50 amps. Please ensure that the ambient temperature ranges from minus 25 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. Equal to dash 13 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And that the operational altitude does not exceed 2000 meters, 6561.7 feet. Place the inverter on a well-shaded site to proof the direct sunlight rain and snow etc. Mount the inverter on a wall at an angle of 75 to 90 degrees to the ground, ensuring the display screen is positioned at eye level for optimal visibility. For parallel system, this model supports a maximum of 16 parallel machines. Please maintain the minimum clearances presented below for adequate heat dissipation. Ensure that you have the following tools with you. This inverter is wall mounted. Please use the mounting template to drill the fixing holes on the wall before installation. The hole diameter 8 mm, depth over 50 mm. Insert the expansion tube into the hole and secure them, then use the expansion screws that come packaged with the expansion tube to install and secure the top three mounting holes of the machine on the wall. After securing the inverter, install the three expansion screws at the bottom to fully fix the inverter. A sheet following shows the adequate power cable. Step 1. Strip from 0.25 to 0.31 inch, 6 to 8 millimeter. Insulation from the cable end and crimp cable lugs for the cable ends. Insert the battery cable terminals into the inverter port. Place them over the positive and negative interfaces. Secure with the nuts provided in the packaging, and tighten with a socket wrench. Connect battery's communication line to inverter's interface and attach other end to battery's interface. Pay attention to the communication protocol interface of the battery when connecting. Refer to the sheet for adequate cable selection. Please double check the lowest ambient temperature of the installation location. The SNA series models support up to two different MPPT PV connections. You can choose one of the two connection methods shown in the diagram. You can set the connection type on the LCD. For specific settings, please refer to the LCD settings section in the following video. You can also make related settings on the web. Remove insulation sleeve 0.4 inch, almost equals 10 millimeters, for positive and negative conductor. Assemble the cable ends to crimp contacts and use the crimping pliers to crimp. Connect the positive and negative cables to the corresponding PV input terminals. Complete the connection of PVB using the same method. Before making the connection, ensure open the DC protection device or disconnect battery first. Be sure to connect AC wires with correct polarity. A sheet following shows the cable requirement. Prepare the AC input and output wires by stripping approximately 0.4 inch, almost equals 10 millimeters, of insulation from the wire ends. Connect the two live wires L1 and L2 of the split phase power grid to the corresponding terminals labeled L1 and L2, and connect N to the neutral terminal. Similarly, connect L1, L2, and N on the load side in order. The load can output 240 volts or 120 volts voltage. Please choose the connection method according to the size of the load. Before making wiring connections, ensure the inverter and the generator are powered off, all circuit breakers are open to prevent damage to the unit. Insert L1, L2, and N wires according to polarities indicated on terminal block and tighten the terminal screws. 
If users want to start generator remotely, the generator signal cable should be connected to the N01 and COM1 port of Gen on inverter. Connect to the dry contact terminal for remote start. This device uses a chassis ground, only requiring a PE wire connection to be made to the external ground bus. Plug then secure all screws of the dongle. See the Wi-Fi configuration section of this video for specific settings. Install the guardrail barrier. Please double check the polarity in port of the wires to prevent miswiring. We suggest to power on the inverter to test the off-grid output. If the installation is normal, then can open the grid breaker. After the installation, you will be able to set the system for inverter on LCD. Set the PV. This connection method can be connected to pre-connected PV and save costs when the inverter is far away from the PV. Attention, when using, the specifications, model, and quantities of the PV panels are required to be identical. This wiring method is more flexible and can operate in different PV environments. Set battery type and brand. You can monitor the inverter by configuring the dongle and registering an account using a mobile app. Use your smartphone to scan the QR code to download the Lux Power app. Use your mobile device connect to the Wi-Fi named by the dongle SN number. Open the Lux Power app. Click the dongle connect button. Input the account and password of the Wi-Fi which you want to join. Click the Home Wi-Fi Connect button. When you cannot find the Wi-Fi name in list, you can click the button on the right and manually enter the Wi-Fi name and password. Then click OK. Dongle will continue to connect to the Wi-Fi you input until the connection is successful. Android users can connect to Dongle using Bluetooth. First, open Lux Power app click Dongle Connection. Click Set with Bluetooth. Find your Dongle SN and click on it. Enter the Wi-Fi name and password. Click on Home Wi-Fi Connect. Fill the form according to your personal information. The star sign means the necessary information. The installation code is provided by the installer or distributor. The SN code and PIN code can be found on the body of the dongle. The basic installation and network configuration steps have been demonstrated. If you encounter any issues during the installation process, please feel free to contact us.